Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. A pleasant good evening. This is going to be a reaction by me, Sports Fanatic News, Joe Boric of Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty, as well. Subscribe over there as well to the Edmonton Oilers and Dallas Stars game where Dallas spanked the Oilers 4-1 to one due to the Oilers having bad defense yet again in front of their goaltender and a very bad PK this evening, letting Rupe Hintz get open for a deflection in front and letting, excuse me, uh, Robertson get open as Hintz had a goal and an assist as he had the assist on Robertson's goal as he was able to get open to fire a wrist shot past Stuart Skinner, who all things considered which they also brought up on the broadcast, I personally believe didn't play too shabby of a game. He played a solid game. The team played absolutely pitiful in front of him. And like we talked about on Pirlo so earlier, me, Payton, and Pirlo, you have to play good, obviously, in front of your goaltender. And having Duncan Keith as one of your top defensemen, along with, obviously, also having CeCe as one of your top defensemen, that ain't going to get you everywhere. I think, obviously, Bouchard, if he can continue to step up, you saw a good play from Wild. He continues to jump up into the play and only, I believe, it was his second NHL game. So, obviously, that is great stuff to see. But you don't want to have to bank that much on your youngsters. Obviously, you still have Clefbaum out, who's a great defenseman. When he comes back, he's going to take a while to come back, obviously, whenever he's finally able to come back. And we wish him all the best and well, because he was a beast on the ice, on the rink, when they are in a huge anchor to the defense. But he's not there right now, and you didn't get enough to replace him and enough around people, especially when a guy like Darnell Nurse is out. So that's a big thing that affected them. The offseason is really what affected Edmonton in games like this, where they just don't have the defense to be able to compete with teams like this when they put them on the power play and you're able to get Rupe Hintz open in front on a deflection and you're able to have Robertson open when you have a great one <clears throat> sent across ice to him. And then as well, not even on the power play, 5-on-5, five five, they didn't guard the net front well and push people out, is Luke Lindenning, who obviously is a very solid bottom six guy, great guys you have to have on your team, if you want to get to a playoff run, and a guy that if Dallas is just mediocre by the deadline will be moved, but he's a guy that you can block out from in front of the net, he's talented in front of there, but if you have bigger boys you can block him out with, uh, you're able to do that, and they don't obviously have, other than Bouchard, really guys they would consider big guys other than maybe CC also that can do that, but neither of them did that tonight, as obviously Luke Lindenning was able to get a tip in. This is what we talked about on Pirlo's show. It was really bad defense by the Oilers, but a really good game by the Dallas Stars, and one of my favorite goalies in the league did what he had to do. Jake Ottinger, 21 for 22, a good battle of good young goaltending in this game, and Stuart Skinner did his job and was solid and kept his team in the game because this could have been worse with some of the chances Dallas had. If Skinner didn't make some nice blocker saves and some other nice reactionary saves that um, he was able to really be in solid position to be able to stop them, he couldn't have stopped those two deflections. He couldn't have stopped Robertson's goal. So there was really nothing he could have done there. And he also couldn't have stopped a breakaway on a beautiful move by Goriano. So there's really nothing he could have done in this game. They hung him out to dry a terrible defensive game by the Oilers, but on the flip side, a great game being able to limit the great players on the Edmonton Oilers and the McDavid uh, and dry sidles of the world, etc. Um, obviously, you would throw in nudes in that, op in that um, conversation, but they were not able to get anything going. The only person that was able to score in this game was a solid wrist shot by Ryan McLeod, the youngster, the 22-year-old, was able to get a goal, his second of his career in this one, so kudos to him. But they were not able to get anything going. The Oilers really did not play a good game. It's not a good game tonight for either of a lot of our Steel Flyers crews teams in the Flyers or the Edmonton Oilers. Both play bad defense. Both hung their goalies out to dry, as that's what Edmonton did. But Dallas, on the flip side, for their fans, this was a fantastic game. They pushed their offense really well. They played really well. As now the Dallas Stars are above 500 at 8, 7, and 2 with 18 points. Still at a minus 5 goal differential, so they have to get better in terms of goals allowed against them. But they are moving in the right direction where, of course, the Edmonton Oilers are a very good team. Still at a plus 15 and have, like Payton said, middle-of-the-road defense stats. But that's just because of how productive their offense is with that plus 15. It kind of skews the overall stuff and how productive their power play is. And PK has been, they need to get a lot better 
on the five on five play consistently, specifically five on five defense, to be able to not lose games like tonight. So this has been a reaction to the Edmonton Oilers and Dallas Stars game. That Dallas played a fantastic game. We get a win for their fans. Edmonton really hung their goaltender to it. Stuart Skinner out to dry the entire evening. Peace out, everybody. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate you all, and have a great and safe Thanksgiving. Peace out.